Hey guys, welcome back to Solid Monkey Be Fixed. So this time we uh this is the part three uh where we're actually gonna uh put the rig on a mesh. So we're gonna assign some automatic weights here. So this is gonna be a very brief one because this is also pretty fairly easy to do. So this is where we left off from part two. So basically we have set up our rig from scratch. We have assigned some custom bone controllers to them and we gave it an IKF case which is well. So as you remember, we go into post mode with our, this is our IK hand controller. We made a custom property here, so right now it's uh, zero. And if you go up, it's this, this is the hard switch I talked about, right? So you can go from zero to one, so FK, IK. So now IK is fully 100% control over it. So if I just move my IK arm here and uh, leave it here, if I switch it off, it's going to go back to FK, right? So if you want that sweet blending between them, uh, you're going to go down to your bone, edit, and then at the property value here, right? Just put 1.0, default 1.0, and hit OK. So now, instead of that hard switch, now you have this little blending going on. Let's see here. It needs to be updated inside the bone. So go down to our bone with the constrainer where we set up our, our, our driver from part 2 go down and set update dependencies and then go back to your controller let's see here what's the issue 1.0 1 1.0 as well 0 to 1 hit ok there it is so now we have this blending between them instead of that hard, hard switch. Okay, cool. And remember, just another tip again. If you want, if you somehow your pose went they're uh, totally crazy, uh, let's just do different things here. And you want it to go back again? Just hit one of the bones, hit A to select everything, and then Alt G, Alt R will reset the rotation and the location. Right. Okay, so let's uh, add in our mesh here, and if we isolate him, just a very very simple cube. I just extruded out just for the sake of this uh, presentation, right? For this day to throw. So we're gonna go in and do very very simple automatic weight painting. Choose your mesh and then your armature, and the armature can actually be in object mode. Choose your mesh. Amateur control P and then do with automatic weights. When you do that, now Blender went in and assigned the weight itself, which means each bone corresponding to the mesh around it will have some sort of influence on it. So let's go in and go to post mode and just to check our IK zone. So let's see what's happening with the IK. It's moving the mesh. So why we're seeing this deformation here is because on this uh, IK controller, you need to go in and uncheck this deform. So let's solve that one out and do the same thing for this one. Deform. So that works. His leg works. And what about this? That works as well. And that one, the head, works as well. So the way you can see how it looks like, uh, let's just uh, go back to object mode, is that you can, the, your uh, bones here be in post mode. Then click your mesh and then shift click one of your bones and hit tab sorry okay so the way to see it and uh, how each bone influence which weight you have to select your uh, bone structure then select your mesh and then do uh, control I have set up my hotkeys here on my tab otherwise you just go up to this uh, these tabs here and just choose uh, weight paint 
Now you can see the selected one is the face, the head bone. So this one is the selected one. You can all see that here, head. And uh, it just shows how much influence it has. So red means completely 100% influence, and blue means zero influence, means zero weight. And in between is green. And of course, we want this bone to have completely influence on the head. So we can just say weight means one. It, this weight uh, scale goes from zero to one. Zero means blue, ones mean uh, red. So let's leave it at one, and then you can just paint, make it red. Because we want this bone to have completely influence over this part, right? So to able to uh, select another bone while you're in this weight mode, you need to hold control down and then just left click on a, on a bone like so. So now you can see this arm has this much influence on this mesh and this bone this much. So this is how you would just go around and see if, if the weight. So for example, this leg here, right? We wanted to influence the leg, but not as much as up here. So instead of having weight of one, you would go all the way down to zero. So you're going to paint blue areas here. And it's because it's painting on vertices, right? On the vertices level, that's why it doesn't. This is a very low poly, so it doesn't have, have that much uh, influence. It doesn't have that many points to actually paint on. There. Yeah. And uh, while you're in this mode, while the leg is selected, you should be able to actually. No, nope, you cannot. I thought you could actually move it, but you could not. That didn't work. So let's try to see this arm. Looks good. So this is where you would go in and uh, clean up if you see, for example, this arm here also have some weight over here. So let's just try to paint. So right now, you see that this arm, when I move that, let's go back to object. Look at that deformation on the shoulder pad here. So whenever you move this arm here, which is of course controlled by the IQ right now, it's gonna influence this one here because of the wet painting, right? Because there is some influence, there's some area of this back here which is influenced also by this bone here. So uh, let's see here, post mode and weight paint. If we click his uh, arm here, you see, we want this area to not be affected by this arm. Right now we have this arm bone selected, but he should not be impacting this back of the bone. So put your weight down to zero and just paint it. Then it goes back again, like so. Now go back to object and let's see here the armature itself. If we remove that, so this is just a low poly man, but it works out uh, pretty good. So that's how you do automatic weight painting. Very easy. Uh, last thing I want to show you guys is uh, for these bones, these post position, rest position. So when you have all the bones, let's say you want all your animation bones to be on their own, to be in their own layer, and uh, to not be seen with all the rest of the bones which are not used for controlling the rig. Then you could just choose your different uh, controllers here. So that will be these, and also, so these, uh, uh, yeah, these as well as the poles. Let's just get them with us. And this. So now I have all these controllers selected, right? So while you have those selected, hit M. And then these invisible layers you see here, right now we are on layer one, which is corresponding to this layer. If we while all these are active, if we press on this second one, look what's going to happen over the position, post position. Now we moved all those controller bones over to this layer 2 here. So on this layer 1, which is the current one we are seeing at, we are seeing all the other bones. So now we isolated the controller bones to this second layer here. If we control this, you're only going to see these, um, these controller bones. So this is how you, you switch from the one layer to another. And just go in and and do your pose. Okay, so that was just a 
pretty simple one guys to show you how that works so I hope you find these three parts somehow uh, useful and you learned a little bit about rigging, automated weight setup custom bone control um, shapes and also some FKIK switch so please uh, consider uh, supporting the channel by subscribing or leave a, leave a like and uh, comment if you want and then uh, write if you want to see anything else I'll be glad to read your comments guys and uh, see what we can do so uh, enjoy and uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye.